Hey all, Taves here, Planet More Planet Zoo, and we are back, and it is another beautiful day. In this, oh, I look, lost balloon. Come back. No, somewhere a child is crying. Anyway, so um, I'm just hanging out up at the. This was my first little build project, really. Um, back in the beta, I haven't really showed you this. Got this, but it was um, it was one I put together in the in the beta. So um, I think it's in one of those videos, first videos that I had. But it's my little kind of tortoise uh, bit, so you can kind of peek over the top at their nests. But we are looking at this bad boy today. So this is a uh, you know, significantly. Oh, she's busting for the load. That's lucky because there's toilets in there, love. Uh, but yeah, this is our first proper big build project. Um, just seen some Z fighting there, but darn it. I thought I'd fixed all that. Um, so yeah, this is my first big one. Um, I hope you enjoy this one. And I shall catch you guys at the end of the video.
Well, there you go. I'm pretty happy with the way that came out, actually. Um, so it definitely is my first, for my first attempt, I learned loads, or my first big thing anyway. Shoot over and have a little look-see at it. Um, and you can see it in the sort of context of the, the whole plaza now. Uh, don't think I'm giving you any spoilers. Oh, that barrier looks like it needs repairing. Uh, someone's getting their pay packet docked. Um, so yeah, just kind of like integrated it into... Oh, they're actually sitting on that bench. That's so cool. What are you even looking at? Are you looking at that plant? Is that what you're... The special bus has come in. Yeah, so I sort of just integrated it in. It's a shame that people don't really come and sit in this uh, little picnic -y area. Look, there's all the food stuff inside. We'll go and have a look in a second. But there's all the food and the... Uh, yeah, like food court and drinks and stuff inside, but they don't come and use that picnic area, which is a bit of a shame. They've got massively expensive uh, staff costs. This is supposed to be like a. Um, the idea of this is supposed to be like an automatic door. It's supposed to be like a little. Uh, oh, cool, cool hat. Open and close the door. They're pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, it's supposed to. Be, obviously, they walk straight through it, but never mind. So this is the inside. Yeah, you didn't see in the spillboard. I, I actually lost a bit of the footage where I put the roof on. Oh. Is that going to pop? Oh, that is so clever. That is so cool. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I lost a bit of footage, unfortunately. Um, but it was pretty straightforward putting the roof on. That was probably the easiest bit, the least complicated bit. Uh, they don't use it an enormous amount. I don't think the zoo, to be honest, is really big enough yet for this size of uh, you know, food court. But it's kind of cool. I might have to shut it. We'll see. I did actually just end up building like a little, I kind of shoved in a really quick monkey habitat. Got everywhere. My my mechanics are rubbish, obviously. Uh, and they do walk through. That's one of the problems of having. Uh, this kind of flooring is they you end up with a situation where they walk through it quite often. It's not too bad inside, but the key to that is to remember to flatten the terrain, which I never remember to do. But yeah, pretty happy with this. Um, and some of the tips. I mean, I may I may do. I'm by no means am I an expert at all compared to some of the people, but it's interesting actually when you look at a lot. A lot of people pot out really that good at tips on on how to play these games i think it's one of the things that because it takes a while to build the temptation is to just put out speed builds obviously if i played that whole you know the raw footage back to you that have been hours and hours of be building it's quite heavily edited um but what you lose when you do that is you lose a lot of the kind of the nuance of actually building um so the things the big things i've learned the big bits that i learned is really give yourself the freedom to adjust things so you know obviously you'll see that and you'll see it you'll have seen it in the video but there's lots of places where i cut and paste um and so you can see that the key to that is having bits of separate buildings so you can see that's its own building that's its own building there was a point at which i wanted to adjust the doorway in the in the middle there and if i'd had that all on the same um, I'm not great at it because you can see there's bits that are like that shouldn't all be on the same building but that's the key to it is to be able to kind of separate bits out and adjust like I had the windows on a separate layer at one point or on a separate uh, building so I could adjust it and put it around but you've seen it in the nightfall so let's night doesn't last very long obviously in my game but we shall see so this is coming together pretty well. I'm blathering on now. Should probably be rounding the video up. It's a shame because I don't because I. Sp oh, there we go. Nightfall. And, this, and then daytime. I may well adjust that at some point. I don't know if they've changed it, so you can't. It seems to be that you can't change the opening times, but. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. There's loads more to come. Um, I started kind of branching off here, and there's. Oh, I'm giving you spoilers over there in the distance, but if 
you if you did enjoy that then please do um give me a thumbs up or don't forget to subscribe and all that sort of thing i always forget to say that um but yeah hope you enjoyed that do let me know my name is toves and i shall catch you on the next one take it easy